Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, November 11th, Veterans Day, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. The prayer of the day comes from me. Lord Jesus, please bless President Donald Trump. Please enlighten and forgive our enemies. Please open their hearts and minds to the futility of their evil, atheistic, and anarchistic ways. Amen. Welcome to all the butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers out there. I'm Ron, your host, and the only true conservative in the United States today. Who is a true conservative? First and foremost, he is realistic. Secondly, he's monotheistic. He is the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He's the person that subordinates politics to reality. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He's patriotic and uses common sense. He's judgmental and moralizes. He refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded asking why rather than why not. He's consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He's a normal American, and he's better than the socialist. He is a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that being a true conservative is best, or you're wasting your time. Additional examples of what it means to be a true conservative can be heard by listening to John Cobelt and Ken Champeau on the John and Ken Show on KFI AM 640, Monday through Friday, from 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. Nancy Pelosi has refused to negotiate in good faith regarding second stimulus because it denies money to Republicans. Republican support is grassroots, and Democrat support is from tech billionaires and George Soros. How's that for irony? There will be calls from old Joe and others to move on. Uh, that you're going to be hearing in the next uh, few days or weeks. The appropriate response to that is counter-psychological. Yes, we will move on to a second Trump term. You will also be told about old Joe's plans for the future, about who he plans to put in various cabinet posts, about what executive orders he will write. The left is trying to psych you out, to use the junior high school phrase. The proper response to those assertions is to say, really? And how does he plan to do that from his basement in Delaware? My podcast is short, approximately 5 to 20 minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. The biggest socio-political influences in my life are my parents, my teachers, Sir Francis Bacon, John Locke, Sir Isaac Newton, Ayn Rand, and Dr. Mortimer Adler. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, where do we stand the Four Commandments, Quote of the Day, Conservative Vocabulary, Conservative Aphorisms, and Socialist Vocabulary. All that when I come back. Thank you very much. The uh, biggest problem with the news, besides undeclared bias, is the lack, and actually, the biggest problem with the news is that it's for profit, for profit and undeclared bias. Uh, but it's, it's the lack of continuity. And I decide to take uh, issues that are facing the country and report on them daily until a story is complete. Hence, where do we stand? Donald J. Trump is still president of the United States. We, the Republicans, have a six to three majority on the Supreme Court. Republicans have gained at least eight seats in the House of Representatives. The Senate is currently 49-48 in favor of the Republicans with three races outstanding. Republicans have 27 governorships to the Democrats' 23. Republicans control 55 of 99 state legislative chambers. Since it is the state legislatures that create the districts, the Democrats are in big trouble. President Trump has filed lawsuits in several states alleging, alleging voter fraud, and Attorney General Barr has authorized an investigation into said voter fraud. Not my president-elect Biden continues to pimp about, pretending to be somebody. 
No news on the monster that's been arraigned for shooting two Los Angeles sheriff's deputies. George Soros still is not dead yet. No law enforcement union has yet been decertified, and no laws shielding officers from prosecution have yet been repealed. And uh, that's uh, important because um, police misconduct is going to continue. As a matter of fact, the uh, police department is going to go ahead and use uh, the, the recent events, riots and whatnot, as an excuse to ask for more money, uh, more pay and benefits, and uh, they're going to use it to encourage their officers to have an ever more aggressive attitude on the streets. Um, let's see, the so-called Patriot Act is still the law of the land. New York Times v. Sullivan continues to encourage new news people uh, to be super citizens who can use unnamed sources to slander and defame people at will without fear of consequences. Where's the expose on the Washington Press Corps? Where's nonprofit news? The communist flu continues. Blue Cross and Kaiser Permanente continue to take our premiums while they avoid paying claims. Governor Newsom has enacted a racist scheme to keep Californians locked down indefinitely. When I come back, conservative vocabulary. Thank you. There's more to being a true conservative than how you vote. Uh, it's uh, being a true conservative is a world outlook. It's a lifestyle. And so if you want to be a true conservative, you have to act, think, and talk like a true conservative. Hence, conservative vocabulary. Words like no, go back, acceptance, mind your own business, right, wrong, should, good, bad, evil, reality, certainty, morality, beauty, and polity. These are terms that the left doesn't want you to use because they are realistic. The quote of the day, truth is the daughter of time, not of authority. Sir Francis Bacon. How to win? Follow the conservative commandments. And right, for right now, there's four of them. Number one, thou shalt not answer stupid questions. Number two, thou shalt not be pragmatic. You be principled instead. Number three, thou shalt not be idealistic. And number four, thou shalt not subscribe to the cult of expertise or the cult of neutrality. As conservatives, we make the presumption for the status quo and change only when there is an obvious or prima facie case for change. However, many of the changes that our civilization has seen are not necessary, just gratuitous. And the following is a list of ideas, concepts, abstractions that should not have been changed, and so they should be brought back. Bring back privacy, property rights, the pre-1970 filibuster, outlawry, single-income households, integration, parenting, and along with it, corporal punishment, the primacy of existence, certainty of knowledge, and universal rights and wrongs. Bring back principled behavior, masculinity and femininity, Adam 12, John F. Kennedy, the gold standard, pre-HMO medical care, non-profit news, civil service, the term stupid question, arguments and fights, the cultural influence of the church and the Boy Scouts, bring back the influence of social organizations such as the Lions Club and the Rotary Club, bring back bowling Bring back smart. Be of good cheer. The universe is benevolent and success is to be expected. Therefore, the left has no authority, no power, and they cannot win. Think about it. Conservative aphorisms. These are items that I think would make great bumper stickers. Why? Who asked you? Who cares? Who is we? Are you sure? How do you know? No, you don't understand. No, you are not listening. You're right. I don't care. No, you're not a leader or a change agent. Who died and left you in charge? Who told you that? 
And my personal favorite, get off of my lawn. Back in a minute. Thank you. Uh, since nobody wears uniforms, how do you identify the socialists in your midst? By the way, they speak, their vocabulary. Socialist vocabulary includes such words as stakeholders, Latin X, empower, going forward, mansplaining, politically correct, supportive, hegemony, organic, grassroots, code word, dog whistle, and the masses. Back in a minute. Thank you. Uh, remember to uh, be smart and to be honest and to be beautiful and always ask yourself, what is real? How do I know? And what do I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill.